have to fight. Oh my life, I had to fight. What's up guys welcome back to the channel today we're going to be talking about something that you need if you own a chrysler 300 this can also be used on a dodge charger a challenger and a lot of other makes and models of cars but today we're going to be focusing in on the chrysler now before we dive into it if you aren't subscribed to the channel go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're into chrysler 300s that's all the content that we're dropping here. We're gonna be doing some giveaways coming soon. At 300 subscribers will be actually the first giveaway. And we're not too far from that goal. We hit about 200 subs in less than a month. So the channel's growing and you wanna be a part of it. So go ahead and subscribe now. Hit that like button, comment, share the videos if you want. But yeah, let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and pop off the engine cover here. And some of you guys may have already figured this out, but the part that I'm talking about is this, the oil separator. The one I have is from JLT, it's their 3.0 oil separator. And so basically what this is gonna do, it's gonna capture and deposit oil that's in the vapors and prevents them from going into the intake manifold. So that's gonna help prevent the valves and other components in the engine from being coated with oil, which can lead to buildup and engine failure, bunch of other problems. It can also dilute your gas, causing the octane level to be lowered. So that's definitely something that you don't want. These are relatively inexpensive, of course, this isn't the only make and model of an oil catch can that you can get. There's others out there on the market, but I've always went with JLT because number one, they're a local company. I know the owner personally, and they make quality product. So this is made of a billet aluminum. It includes the hoses that you're gonna need. So it's basically plug and play. You're just gonna remove the hoses that are there already. And then you're gonna put this in place bolt it down when you want to drain it which you're going to want to do probably every 2000 to 2500 miles on average you'll see about an ounce of oil captured in here for every thousand miles so you just want to check it you know routinely but we're going to go ahead and see how much oil is captured in there so let's go ahead and do that now two screws up here that you can just simply remove fairly simple and quick process to do so set those to the side Alrighty. so we have it out let's go ahead and unscrew it and we'll move over to the countertop for this part all right so now we have it sitting here and like I said you can just unscrew this And you can see here on the bottom that you have a little filter up there. That's where it's going to catch the oil out of the vapors and then deposit it into the catch can. So there's a little bit in there. You know, it's nowhere near full, of course. But yeah, hopefully you can see that. So I'm just going to dump it in here so you'll actually see how much is. This is all oil that would have ended up on some internal components right there. So this thing does the job, man. And I mentioned before that I actually had a Chrysler 300M in the past. And that car, the engine actually died on it due to an issue with oil building up in the engine. I didn't have an oil catch can back then. Maybe it would have helped prevent that problem from happening. But, you know, hindsight is 2020, and those engines were known to have specific problems with oil sludge building up. But of course, the V6 that we have now and the Hemis, we don't have those issues really. But this is just going to be an extra safeguard for you to make sure that you don't have to deal with what I had to deal with. Definitely don't want that. So now we're just going to go ahead and reinstall this bad boy 
and close this video out. So again, reinstallation is really simple. Wind that up. Here. All right, that's it, man. That's it. The hardest part about this install is putting this engine cover back on. I always struggle with finding these little holes. I always have to fight. All my life, I had to fight. <laughs> But yeah, if y'all know an easier way to get this stupid engine cover back on, let me know in the comments because I always struggle with it. So guys, that does it for today's video. I'm actually thinking about getting a throttle body spacer or a larger throttle body. So stay tuned. I may be doing that here in a couple of weeks. We also have the JLT cold air intake up here, which I highly recommend you guys doing if for no other reason than the sound if you don't believe it gives you more horsepower you know whatever it makes it sound better so something worth doing if you're into that so anyways thank you guys for watching like i said sub to the channel if you haven't already and i'll see you on the next one peace